What is going on, Pills and Channel Colts? I'm Make a Dash, and a couple of days ago, um, this little game that you see here called uh, MLP Online was released. Uh, but it doesn't appear to actually have an online mode at the moment. It just has single player, so we're just going to be stuck uh, with that, and we're going to start a new game. Also, if this is in some funky resolution, it's because the game is 800 by 600, and YouTube doesn't have an option for that. So, uh, you'll just have to cope. Anyways, let's start this up. Ponyville, 3.17 a.m. All was quiet and still, a night like any other, until, without warning, a bright flash lit up the night sky. Uh, do we have to click to continue? Uh, it's just taking forever, okay. The flash is brighter than the sun for a brief moment, before it subsided and fell beyond sight. And the great explosion rocked the sleeping village as the object fell to earth. And some people are really slow readers, apparently. But, anyway, uh, a certain purple unicorn was aroused from her sleep by the flash. Twilight Sparkle, of course. Overtaken by curiosity, she decided to investigate the disturbance despite the late hour. Also, I got a day one patch on this. Just. Actually, it's not really day one. It was released a couple of ep days ago. My Little Pony on episode one. First contact. Okie dokie. Spike, did you hear that? Did you see that? It, that sounded like something exploded. Uh, next. Mm, I'll go look. I mean, no pony should be setting off fireworks at this hour. What could have caused an explosion? That's kind of funny because it's uh, 1.38 right now, and uh, it's we're supposed to be quiet after 12, but I'm talking to you. So, yeah, anyway. Maybe we're under attack. Huh. Oh, Twilight got out of bed. She was in bed before. Well, can you see anything? Oh, he's he's like out there. Okay. Uh, no. Can I go back to bed now? Vector artists. Spike, this is serious. Explosions don't go off at 3 in the morning. They do when you're up late practicing a fire spell. Hilarious. Ugh, wake up, brain. I need you. Are you talking to yourself? Yes. No. Come on. Let's go check it out. Can't wait until morning? Am I ever gonna get my allocated 20 hours of sleep? Oh, poor Spike. No, it can wait, and you don't need 20 hours of sleep. I need 20 hours of sleep. <laughs> You're gonna owe me for this. I wish I could get 20 hours of sleep every day. Okay, so how... What's up, Twilight? What's your take on this? What's your take on the current situation? Do you think you could be a little more vague? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, the night, how it's gone so far. My bed is right over there. I'm only awake because you want me up and about. Okay, goodbye. Uh, how do we move? I think I read that some USA and D. So Spike follows us wherever we go, and it looks like he gets in the way every once in a while. Can I, like, walk off the edge? No, it doesn't let me. Uh, I'm just getting stuck on that pillow. Uh, it's a little hard to navigate around here. Is there anything we can, like, interact with? Oh, that. Hey, Twilight, are you gonna write a letter? I will eventually, but I can't tell Princess Celestia about what happened until we know what happened. Uh, let's go check out the book. Oh, that's Spike. Uh, do you think you could be a... Uh, oh, wait, I, w I meant to say goodbye. Crap. Spike, will you stop following us around? I want to, like, check things out. Well... Even if we're across the room, it still, like, changes the cursor there, so we can, like, examine stuff from a distance. Okay, books. Let's go check out the books. Let's see if there's anything that catches my eye. Nah, nothing too special here. Okay. Anything else? Can we go in here? Nope. But here. Nope. Oh, that's Spike again. Okay, let's, uh... Oh. Oh. We got a new area. Another book. I should really read the these... One at a time, but who can resist the allure of a good book? Tell me about it, Twilight. Take this book, for example, Fifty Shades of Nay. Oh my gosh, really? 
Wait, I hate this book. Whoops. I do too, Twilight. I do too. Daring Do is so much better. Oh, we gotta, we, we gotta get up close to, like, actually examine it. I left this book open earlier. It's about, it's a book about enchanting refrigerators. That's so strange thing to enchant. Oh, and I suppose it could be used for other things. But it has learned the Ice Bolt spell. Oh, okay. cool beans. We learned the Ice Bolt spell. Check out the bookshelf. Sure. Invaders from Beyond Neptune, a true sci-fi classic. That's just plain silly, though. Custry getting invaded by aliens. On second thought, an alien invasion would be the most normal thing to happen around here. Hmm. There was a crash. Do these all say the same thing? Yeah. Can we go up the ladder? No. Spike would be the only one who would really be able to anyway. Uh. Can we check anything out over here? More bugs? What about this thing? Or this thing? Let's turn on trap mode. Oh wait, we were in trap mode. And that, now we just turned off trap mode. Okay. Oh, we just loaded. Oh, hey, let's go talk to Derpy. Gosh, this place is huge. Okay. Oh, hi there. What are you doing awake at this hour? Eh. What? So, Twilight faces things differently than I do. Oh, I've been looking for a pack of muffins all day. Seen them in a little box in the bakery. Oh, I'll accept the quest. Eh, okay. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Uh, I'll just let you read it. I don't feel like reading it. Or er, explosion? I didn't hear anything like that. Did you hit your head or something? You, you should get that looked at. Derpy. No, I'm positively sure that I heard an explosion coming from outside. Oh, let me just Derpy dropped it on your head. Oh, okay then. Well, I didn't hear it then. Okay. Bye, Derpy. Does Spike have anything useful to say? No. So, check out behind the library, the tree berry. What is it? Oh, Norton antivirus is scanning. Wonderful. What's over here? Nothing? Ooh, let's talk to Lionel Scratch. And the library, and Bon Bon. Oh my gosh, all these background plays are freaking amazing. Mm -hmm, time to slam now. Yeah, yeah, real jam going down. <laughs> is that the Space Jam? Final, hey, I need your help. I was just listening to Space Jam earlier. Mm hmm don't think this thing's loud enough. Hey, I need to talk to you, hello? What? Oh, hey, Twilight, what's up? You have a minute to answer a few questions. This is like Robot Bob's dream here. What? I said I need to ask you a few... What? I said I need to ask you... Say what again! Say what again! Okay, sorry. Take your headphones out. Twilight, you know I can't hear a thing when my headphones are on. You gotta speak up next time. French can wait, Twilight. Thank goodness, can I answer a few questions while I'm here? So, what's up? Wubs, it was you! Hey, wait a second, you live here in this house? I suddenly don't like where this is going. It was you! You're the one who keeps blessing that dubstep that wakes me up every day. Hey, it's not dubstep, you just have no idea what music is. Touch the nerve, did I? Oh well, it's all Wubs to me. Try getting a new instrument or two, then we'll talk. See, it's because of squares like you that I keep getting kicked out of my apartments. No, I'd say it's the 5,000 decibel music blasting out of that bass can of yours that does that. Well, how else am I supposed to clean the dishes? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, just forget it, Twilight. So what's up? Let's talk about, should we talk about the explosion or the light in the sky? Let's go with the light in the sky. Did you at least see the light in the sky? There was a light in the sky? Is that why we're putting this up? I really am clueless here. You didn't hear anything. You didn't see anything. Just what are you doing awake at 3 in the morning? I'm always up. Always. I don't sleep. I should probably go to sleep. You've got to be kidding. Duh! You can be so gullible sometimes. So what's up? Well, the explosion. Did you hear that explosion a minute ago? Must have been something big. Seriously? You think I listened to something like that? I got no time for print percussion. Oh. It's not even close to limit. I, ex I guess right clicking it does stuff too. Uh. Too harsh? I mean, up and comers have their place, right? I didn't like that. But explosion is good, they just need more practice. Their bassist is great. Not even close to what I meant. I was asking about the impact. Big kaboom, just now? What? Oh, I heard nothing like that. Ask some pony else. Well, thanks anyway, I guess. Okay, goodbye. Can we go in her house? This is Vinyl's house. It'd be nice to wreck this up a bit, but she'd get mad at me. I wonder where she keeps that damn stereo. And can we can we go in Lyra and Bob Bob's house? 
So I'm gonna play it. So it'd be pretty rude to go by what she's saying right here, okay? Let's talk to Lyra first. And I fell flat on my face. I nearly broke my nose, but it was so low. So what happened to the, to the boots after that? Did you get rid of them, or am I gonna wind up taking you to the hospital again? Oh, Lyra and your antics. Gee, well, oh hey, Twilight, how's it going? Hey, not to interrupt, but did either of you hear that big crash just now? Crash? I didn't hear a crash. You hear a crash? Are you kidding? I'd be lucky to hear a, uh, a bomb go off with all of your snoring. Sno hey, I do not snore. You totally do. Yeah, half the town can hear you if you leave the window open. I thought it was odd that the construction crew was working at midnight. Guess I was wrong. Wait, wait, wait. I need to do a different voice for every time Bomb Bomb comes up next from now on. And just when, when were you going to tell me all this? How long has that been going on and nobody told me? What we meant to say is, no, we know of nothing of a crash or anything like that, sorry. Oh, well, uh, thanks anyway. Is it just going to... Okay, so this isn't the same conversation. No, I'm never going to hear the end. Wait, I didn't do a different voice. No, I'm never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna have to come up with a lot of explosion, a, a lot of stuff. So you know anything about? <laughs> I was being dead serious when I said I couldn't hear it. I was up because there was a bunch of chatting outside my window. Yeah. Snoring. Hey, sorry about bringing the story up. I thought she knew. Uh, what should what should my voice be? Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. She'll get over it someday. Boots? What boots? I couldn't help but overhear something about boots. Oh yeah? That? Lyra's got this crazy obsession with them. And by that, I mean she walks around in them all the time. So, what's wrong with that? Oh gosh, I gotta come up with, uh, new voices that weren't used in the show. Boy, penalty. Oh, why am I not surprised? Heard about that, huh? Yeah, she won't shut up about them. Am I the one who gets to haul her out to the urgent care center when she hurts herself? Oh, it's lots of fun. Let me tell you. Eh, okay. So we're done with them. Bye, Lyra and Bon Bon. Does Spike still say the same stuff? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of empty space. Ooh, what's this? Whose house is that? The map is kind of big. Lots of empty space. Okay. So, can we go in these houses? I think this is Barry's house, but she's at home. Best not to knock, or I might wake Ruby up. I don't even know who Ruby is. I assume Barry is Barry Punch, but... You know, I've never seen anybody go in or out of this house. I bet it's haunted. That'd be so cool. But, anyway, I assume Barry is Barry Punch, but, uh, I don't know who Ruby is. I don't know about all the background ponies. Is this supposed to be Derby's house? Uh, I'm not sure whose house this is. Seems like a bad time to knock. I, I imagine it's Derby's house because she's just kind of standing there. Although, wouldn't Derby live in Cladsdale? Oh, we just went somewhere else on the map. Okay. Um. So that seems to be like the edge of this area. Anyways, before I, before I enter the new area, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Oh, let's do a dance with Spike. I'm Twilight Sparkle, and I'm out.